Hello and welcome to my channel. You may be new here. Some of you may know me in real life. I do not know, but today my first ever video will be the game I've been playing for a bit. It has five seasons so far. You probably said when I said five, you probably thought I meant Fortnite, but no, my phone cannot have that. Much. I don't have a phone that well, an iPhone, I guess you could say. But today I will be playing WWE. Super card. It's one of my favorite games on my phone. Oh, it's on other screens too, but you get it. So let's do this. Now, when I get on here, I might play a few games, but first I'm going to show you like my best card in my deck. But first, I'm going to open a free pack. In every free pack, you get two credits. Then a random card from Harden to Neon. So, these are all my cards. As you see, I have a lot of beasts. You're probably wondering what this card is. It's a beast, but it's an event card. So, that's why it has like a different background, I guess you could say. But, here are my best cards. He's probably not going to be in my deck very much longer. Because I'm going to use him to level up my Aka Monster card. It's in my top four men. Let's see if I have any more I can use. Nope. Done. Yes. And, basically, the stronger the card, the more levels you get. But the stronger the card you're leveling up is, the harder it gets to level them up. So here's my best card. It is a Xavier Woods Titan card. It's very strong. I've been, I've applied all the tokens as you see. I can't train him. Your this card is already at max level. Then my best female card is this Monster Nia Jax. She has all her matches finished, as you can see. Xavier Woods does not. As you can see, can, this card is already at max level. She has all of her tokens used. As you can see, Woods does as well. It almost has all of them uh, there. But if there is um, one that you can have 75 levels, then you can get all your tokens used on all of them. But here's my Finn Balor card. Now, I've had this one since near, well, near Valentine's Day. Now, I did uninstall this, but then I got it back, and this was my best card first. It's a Rhino SummerSlam 17. Wait, I have enhancements on this? Wow, it's still on him. Wait, or is that just... Give me a minute, or is that just the card I have? Oh, it's just the card I have, never mind. But, as you can see, you can also put enhancements on your card to make that card stronger. You can also swap the image, I have no other items, but other Finn Balors. So I can show you some of them. It also, so it gives you all the ones that you've owned. So, here's his Beast, his SummerSlam 17, his Ultimate, his Elite, and his Harden. Now, I like the Beast, but I'm probably going to change it to either his Ultimate, his Elite, or his Harden. Ultimate looks very nice. Elite looks good, too. But I think it's going to have to be Harden. Because that looks fabulous. So I'm at, so now I'm going to hop in a game for you guys. Now there is an event called Ring Domination that's currently happening. I will play a game of this. I'm doing meh. See, as you see, I'm going for a monster Zeth Rollins. And you keep... Once you get a card, you keep going up. But you don't have, like... You can't go all the way. Unless... Because you can only do three, so... Say, so, say I'm at, like, Titan tier. 
I can only do like I think I can do the top ones, maybe. I'm not sure. Cause I haven't got to Titan in reading domination yet. So let's do some reading domination. I forgot to buy a pick doubler. Elijah Baller 17. Now I normally go with one of my weakest cards to use for the first one. So then I could possibly attack. Their card they attack. I know that sounded weird, but you get it. So I currently have no card that I could use to beat them, but I can also attack the card I previously had. So I'm going to attack this Kevin Owens so I can get that card back. At the end, it, it comes down to who has the most cards on the nine thing on the nine board. What? He won. I'm getting one, at least. There we go. His turn. Great. I won't be able to use my, um, what's it called? My, uh, Rhino. And if I win this, that means I win the whole thing. Because I'll have five and he'll have four. Yep, I won. Five to four. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Edge Fighter. If you're wondering who I was. And after you're done with the ring domination, if you win, you get four. And if you use a pick doubler, you get eight. If you lose, you get two, I believe. If you use a pick doubler, you get four. That time I do not get anything. And what you're trying to do is get shards in order for you to get the cards. So once you have all the shards done, you move on to the next one. But you don't, everyone doesn't start at monster. Like some would start at maybe, damn it, Goliath or SummerSlam 18. So let's use the pick doubler and hop into him again. Yes, I got three good cards. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my weakest cards. Put him here. Dang it. Oh, wait, yes, 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 yes. That's good. Because if he doesn't put anything beside the, on the other side of that John Cena, I can get him back with my Xavier Woods next time, and I can use his Rhino to get that Jeff Hardy. If you hear my door opening, it's because I have a brother, but he's a baby. And speaking of baby, I got his part, the person who says that tag's partner doing this, baby. Making this six to one, I think. Yep, six to one. I'm going to win seven to two. Nope. Make that. Five to four? Six to three, I don't know. Yeah, six to three. And you don't get as many draft picks as many, how as many cards you won. You just get four if you win and two if you lose. And then I used a big doubler, so I have eight. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to get an ultimate or above, or a pick doubler in order for you to get a shard. And I don't, I might get one. I don't, I have very slim chance right now. Well, not really a slim chance. Yes, I got it. And it's not like I'm going to use you. Because I already have two of you. So, and when you click deck, edit deck, I mean. You can autofill all your decks, and you can also 
improve your cards from there. See, and I'm going enhancements for first because I forgot to go to general, which gives you all your male and female cards. And as you see, I'm gonna level him up possibly. If I do, that means I'll get closer to him being maxed out. I also have another monster card. It is a Ruby Riot monster. I'm looking for any spare cards. Um, yes, this is wrong. It's done. Yes. Level up by six. He is now almost stronger, or is... Nope, almost stronger. Okay, now I'm going to show you my top cards. So, I'm currently on seven, SummerSlam 17 Plus for my top 8 cards. My top 8 cards are, of course, the Xavier Woods Titan card. The Beast Finn Balor card. The SummerSlam 17 Rhino card. The Monster Akum card. I don't I say it Akum Akum, I don't really care. The Monster Nia Jax. The reason it's blurry is because that happens to some of the cards. A WrestleMania 33 Becky Lynch. That's not the one I just got. It's just that I leveled this one up because um after I do this um uh, monster Akum, I'm probably gonna level her um the second one up to get a, a Prode, um, Becky Lynch WrestleMania 33 card, and then these are support cards. You use these to give your card normal card, like your male and female cards, an extra boost. So the best support card I have is a SummerSlam 17 Freddy Blassie, which will give you five, plus 500 power and plus 500. Five, well, plus 505 power and plus 505 charisma to your deck. And then a WrestleMania 33 manager, Miss Elizabeth, which will give you plus 405 power and plus 440, 405 speed to the deck. Then down here are your team cards. So this is what basically, well, I don't know how to put it. These are basically where you pick your best cards. I currently have my two best, and it gives you that you can choose from your two, yeah, your two best males, your best female, your best enhancement, which I don't change just to keep it there, and then your best support card. So I just look up here for to use it because that shows your your, your top eight cards. So yeah, then you also have attitudes. You're probably like, is that like your attitude in the match? No, um. That's what you can use, sort of, to communicate to your the other players. Some of the, like, exclusive ones say stuff like this, woo, but everyone gets that one, no matter what. But they also sell them at the, in the store on here, so, like, give me a minute, give me a minute. Nope. No! Okay, so, like, this Shawn Michaels. See the 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 limited time VIP ones. Those are the ones that will do um like movements and stuff. And those are only VIPs that do that. And the Woo and the Woo Ric Flair card. And then you also have card backs. I currently have the Valentine's Day one and the normal one. I use the Valentine's Day one. But you can buy these, wait, no, you can buy these at the current, like, special, no, these aren't special events, but these are, like, a couple day events to where you go to rewards, CP store, and the CP you earn from games and getting on the leaderboard for your league, everyone gets on the leaderboard, and they're sold down at the bottom, it's 1,000 to 2,500 for each, and you can also buy packs and very strong cards. Um, today I'm gonna be buying a pack. Boom, 500 CP. I see me a WrestleMania 33 Cedric Alexander. I'm probably never gonna use him. Yeah, probably not. 
So you, I'm also gonna use a deck editor for this, just in case. Auto fill all decks. Yes. Then go to the Acum, Acum, however you pronounce it, and then you click on them. Let's do this, man. I can also show you a pro, but it's not like max pro. Max pro is when you have both the cards fully leveled up. I have a gold pro is the ones when you have them fully maxed up. I have a silver pro of Asuka right he here. Yeah, right here. Here she is. You can also lock cards. That keeps them in your deck, and you can't use them to level people up. And you can't use people, and you can't just level these, you can't just take them and level them, put them in someone, well, feed someone, I guess you could say. Um, because if they're in a deck, you can't, um, take them just, like, out of the deck unless it's Road to Glory. Because that final person, see, that final person will just show up as not in a deck. So, yeah. And also you get, and there's also this one event where you can't change anything. It just gives you your best cards. It's called Last Man Standing. I actually haven't done it on the. I actually haven't done this. Done it on this account. So I'm gonna. I, there's also several modes. There's something called Fusion Chamber, where you can use the cards you currently have, um, that are not indexed to make. To keep on um, adding them and adding them to go all the way up to the strongest card in the game, which is currently a Shattered. There's Wild, King of the Ring, Money in the Bank. I will do a King of the Ring, but you don't get to play in that. You just manage your superstars, autofill, and you also use energy to keep them, like, not following all of their stats going all the way down to where they started. So then you press Start Search, and then you wait a minute. For that, for that, to find other people, and there's also this mode called Wild. It's basically just three matches with some of your, with the um, uh, four of your best males and two of your best women and your two best supports. So I'm gonna do one of these, and then this video will be ended. Gotta give it a second. Here we go, Ricky. I guess he pronounces it. Charisma, you can all, and let's use a support card. Well, uh, I guess that's the reason he's so good, because he has that Goliath. And he will not beat me, <laughs> since I have this very strong hijack. But apparently his mail cards are the best thing ever. And for this, if you lose, you get one. If you... Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Why do I have these? Oh, I got it from, uh, King of the Ring. Because from King of the Ring, when you get eliminated, you still get prizes. No. So, that will be it for this video. Come back again to see another video next time. See you guys next time.